Hello, and welcome to this uh, little introduction to using circuits uh, in Tinkercad. Um, so here I am, I've logged into Tinkercad. Um, I'm on the uh, dashboard. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on circuits. All right, so now that I've clicked on circuits, uh, I'm going to create a new circuit. And so you'll see again that you have uh, anything that you've created before, uh, it will it will stay there for you to explore later. So as usual, it starts off with sort of a randomized uh, name. I'm just going to go ahead and call this intro to micro bit. Oh man, can't spell. Uh, all right, so there we are. We've got a blank canvas here, um, and I can go ahead and uh, explore some different components. Um, I'm really interested in the micro bit stuff, and so there's even some starter projects here. Um, or if I just wanted to go to the basics. Um, I can just scroll through and see some of those those things. So again, we've got the micro bit, so I'm going to just drag this out one um, and, and drop it right there. And go ahead and I can change the color of it if I wanted to. Uh, I can also name it uh, micro bit one, micro bit two, uh, because I can have two different micro bits out here if I wanted to. And then uh, now that I've got my micro bit, I can start to do um, some some external stuff. And that's what I'm really excited about is the opportunity to add some external things to it. And so there we go. So we've got this breadboard here. I just wanted to move the breadboard a little bit so it's out of the way. Come on. It's like now it's attached to the microbit. Okay, so I want to have it like this. And so now what we can do is we can explore some of these pins and we can explore the breadboard. So one of the cool things is this really helps to um, teach us how to use a breadboard. Um, for those of you that don't know how to use a breadboard, it's a, uh, a great opportunity for, for creating circuits um, and not having to deal with so many wires. Um, and it allows you to sort of prototype um, and, and change out your circuits and you know, add those different things, uh, different elements that you would want to explore with. And so right now I'm just going to use um, a very simple, uh, make a little simple circuit using an LED. So again, I can just drag the LED out here. I can put it in any uh, of the, the pins that I want to. Uh, and then I'm going to add a resistor. So the resistor I'm just going to change um, so that we can try to make a nice circuit here. So I'm just going to change the orientation of it. And then I can go ahead and uh, and do some uh, circuitry here. So I'm just going to click on the three volts, and what that's going to do is it's going to bring um, a wire, and I can just click on 17, and I can if I want to change that wire to maybe red, um, so I know that this is where the the power is coming out of. So just we we usually say that. Um, and then I'll just zoom in a little bit here, so hopefully you can sort of see that a little bit better. I realize that you probably might, might not have been able to see that great. So uh, we got three volts coming out here, going into 17, and you'll see how it lights up all across this row. So both F, G, H, I, J, uh, or all of those are, are connected underneath. So there's like a metal strip that's going across here um, that make all of these five holes connected similar to uh, these are all connected these are all connected here and so this is a great opportunity uh, again to sort of explore and, and see how we we can uh, make circuits with a breadboard so we come out here um, as an electron and then we pass across the resistor we go through the led and so now what we want to do is connect into number 22 here. So I'm going to just click 22 onto ground. And again, ground, we usually use something black, um, just out of, of convention. And so what we can do now is we can go ahead and start the simulation. And so the, what that will do is it will 
run code, uh, or not the code, sorry, run the electricity through here because this is three volts automatically. Um, we don't have to code it to do that. Now, there's a couple, or there's one thing that you're probably noticing is the LED is not turned on, uh, or it didn't turn on. And so there's a few different things that we need to check here. And the reason I'm doing this setup is for one, for, for two reasons, is when we do some coding and hardware, it's really nice to make sure that one works before we go on to the next. And so here we're making sure that the hardware works. And see, so as you can see, well, the hardware doesn't work. And so before we get into coding, let's let's deal and make sure that the, the hardware is going to work first. So the first thing I'm going to check out is the fact that the LED, it only allows the electricity to go through it one way. And so what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to turn this around. And I'm actually going to move it down here so it's still connected in. Uh, but now the electricity is traveling this way. So it's going through the anode and then the cathode first, as opposed to the cathode and then the anode. So let's run this simulation, and now we see it lit up. So we know that this now this circuit works. There's another thing that we can do that to help the, the brightness of this, and that has to do with the resistor. And so for those of you that don't know what a resistor is, it resists things. Um, so what it, we can sort of think about it as a bottleneck. So if we have a bunch of people flowing through uh, a baseball game uh, or, or, you know, in the stands of a baseball game, a resistor would be that bottleneck that you would experience. You know, if you're going to the upper bleachers uh, or upper deck, um, it's the staircase and how wide the staircase is. And so what we can do is the, the resistor right now uh, has a resistance of one kilo ohms and so a, an ohm is the unit of measurement um, for a kilo ohm and so what we can do is we can maybe push it down to 140 um, and one cool thing you'll notice is the colors the color bands um, which actually tell us uh, uh, help us to distinguish a resistor will also update to better reflect or reflect what uh, the resistance is and so I'm going to run the simulation again and you'll see that now this LED is brighter Again, the, the lower the resistance, the sort of the wider the pipeline is, and that'll allow the, the, the circuit to, to flow. The one reason that we're putting this in here is because if we take this and go directly into uh, the LED, we might short circuit it or, or we might give it too much voltage. And these, um, so it's just similar to having a fuse in the house when you, when you flick a switch and you um, blow a fuse, this resistor sort of helps us to, 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 make, <coughs> excuse me, to make sure the current isn't too much uh, for the circuit. So now that we've got our circuit working, we can stop our simulation and we can go ahead and we're gonna move this. So we're gonna just click on it and click delete. Now I'm gonna go over to zero and now here i can i can code with zero one or two or pin, pin one pin two and pin zero um so i'm just going to go over to here and up to there so you'll see that if i sort of did a double click uh it makes it nice and curved i can change it into red again and there we are so uh now if i start the simulation Nothing's going to happen because pin zero isn't doing anything on the micro bit. And so if I just start the simulation, again, you'll see nothing on, on the, the micro bit here. But if I click on code, that allows me to do some code with this. And so I'm sort of excited to, to show this. Um, so I can show LEDs. So on start, I can maybe have a smiley face. and display that and then if i wanted to let's say go ahead and and forever um do something with the the outputs here so i just click on output and so there's the output as in the plotting and the leds but if i scroll down 
now I'm getting into the digital write and the analog read. Um, and so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to do a, a digital write. Uh, and, you know, again, you can explore the difference between digital and analog um, with this. But we're going to go ahead and do just a, 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 a blinking light. So we've got pin zero. So again, we got pin zero, one and two. We're going to have high. And then we click low. And then now we can also change this to make it flicker a little bit better. So now if I click on, well, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit on this one. I wanna see my micro bit face as well as my LED down here. So if I click on start simulation, so we'll see a little um, happy face here. And then we'll also see that this is blinking on and off. Super cool. And you'll see that the simulator time is also running. So if I wanted to explore um, with the time it takes to, to do an experiment or do something, then I can I can do that. And so this is really cool to be able to, to explore with that. Um, as I mentioned before, there are um, pieces of, of hardware that have already been created. Um, so we can go in here and go into micro bit and maybe let's say I want to do something with the analog. So I can bring that over here. Usually just takes a, a second or two to, to show up. And so again, here we go. So we've got micro bit number one and this, I click on this one. This was micro bit number three. And so if I go into the code, now I can see this is for micro bit or the, the second micro bit. And so here it says forever plot bar graph of read analog zero up to 1023. And so now if we just scroll this over a little bit and zoom in. So we're gonna be plotting a bar graph. So plotting means we're gonna do something on the LEDs and we're gonna read the analog pin. And so analog pin zero is right here and it's connected to this dial or a potentiometer as, as we often call it in electronics. And then what it's gonna do is write analog pin two to this certain number. And so you can probably imagine that we're gonna light up this LED um, based on the amount that we're going here. So I'm just gonna run this simulation And so again, you'll see my light blinking on and off over here. And then we'll also be able to see this one. And if I just rotate this a little bit, you'll see that this LED lights will light up almost the whole way. Here we go, the full way. And then here, this is, um, getting lit up all the way as well. And as I mentioned before, when we were doing the circuit over here, the reason to have this resistance, you'll see here we've got a, uh, a big exclamation point and it says current through the LED is uh, 20.3 milliamps, recommended is 20 milliamps. So it's essentially saying that we're, we're at too much, you should tone it down a little bit. So if I just turn this down, now we're, we're better in terms of that ability. Um, and so the last thing that I wanted to show you here is, and, and you, you can't really see it under, it's underneath, uh, uh, this one over here. Um, but I wanted to show you now is we have all those onboard sensors that you've already explored with the micro bit. Well, here are some, we, we can again, ex explore that with the, uh, simulator here. And so I'm able to sort of swing it around and so I can put it face down, face up, logo forward, logo back, logo up. Um, we're able to shake it. And so you can go through that shaking motion. We can um, also deal with the compass and how it rotates around. Um, so that's really uh, exciting. We can put it through a free fall situation. We can through it, put it through um, those other type of uh, 
gravity situations, uh, and then also change the light level, right? So um, again, um, for those of you that have played with the make code platform, when you add those particular pieces of code to it, it the, on the simulator, it adds those ones in. Well, here it does the same sort of thing uh, automatically. Um, and so you can change the, the temperature, change the light level. And uh, yeah, so I think it's a really super cool opportunity um, to add in external things uh, to your microbit projects. Um, so it, it pairs well with, uh, or it, it goes well with the, the uh, make code um, to be able to use this in the in a simulation environment, um, and then the next level would be to uh, to take your code and to download it. And so here, if I click on this, it's uh, downloading a um, multiple files here. Um, so we can just go ahead and uh, we're gonna keep this one, and then we would be able to uh, push this into our uh, microbit. So. Super cool. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to uh, explore this with uh, students and uh, I'd love to hear your, your thoughts on this um, in, the, in the future. So uh, yeah, happy coding and now happy making. Bye for now.